So what am I going to report on today? Some interesting speculation suggests that Valhalla could be SBNO for the 2020 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs Dabor, Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News new update from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now we've got something very interesting that came out uh, last night and it sort of sent the coaster enthusiast community by storm a bit. There are some sceptics, there are some believers on this. Um, before you guys comment anything, I want to sort of um, sh share with you the details of what I know then share with you my thoughts and then you can comment down below your thoughts once you've heard everything. So I won't comment anything straight away. I'd wait and watch the whole video on this one. This is an extra special where you have to watch the whole video to sort of before you comment and understand stuff. Um, so please watch the whole video before you comment anything. Now before we get started, make sure you go check out our videos over the last few days. We have a couple of news updates from Tours and Freed. Um, on their big investment set to come for 2021 and of course we're going to get more information in January on 2020. We've got some new updates set to come over the next few days. Obviously IAPA starts uh, very very soon, in fact it starts next week so um, just in a, a couple of days time, two three days time, we're going to uh, hear, see the start of IAPA so um, obviously we're going to have our whole all announcements from IAPA 2019 roundup video that will be on once IAPA is finished or just give it a few days or so uh, as we can sort of get all the information around everything up, get some pictures and stuff like that. So let's get on then with the video. So shout outs go to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair. If you want a shout out in the next video, please comment down below and I'll give you your shout out. Now this update from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, like I said in the intro, is on Valhalla uh, and the possibility of it being SBNO for the 2020 season. Now people can say it run, run, ran better on some days than other days um, but there are some people out there that have said that some effects have not worked this uh, this 2019 season and it's been a little bit unreliable this year. Now there's a big rumour going around that it's going to be SBNO for the 2020 season possibly to reopen in 2021 as a reworked experience. Now there was a video, I believe it was from Attraction Images I believe they're called um, and they've got numerous sources, very reliable sources. Now, I'm not going to comment on those sources. I, 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 mean, I don't know who those sources are. Uh, they said they don't know. Who, they don't want to reveal the sources just because of privacy information and stuff like that. But apparently, they've been right on numerous times. So that's going to be a uh, quite a big factor. They could, they might be right this time again. They might be wrong. We don't know. Uh, but the fact they've been right on numerous times could suggest that it could be a reliable source. Uh, but it sounds like a reliable source to me. We've got all these detailed information. So I'm going to pick out some of the interesting points from that video. And I'm going to share them uh, here. So I'm going to put a picture of this fabulous dark ride on your screen now. Fan Abidorsi. Now here's some of the details that we picked out from that video. The ride reportedly costs £1 million per year to run. And needs £900,000 worth of renovations doing. So that's an interesting factor. The ride has apparently been very unreliable and problematic for Blackpool this year. Some people, you know, have said it's had some of the effects not working and stuff like that. Uh, including having sunk a full boat of riders to such an extent they had to evacuate themselves mid-ride. The park also apparently doesn't want the ride to have a similar incident to the one on Splash Canyon Drayton Manor. I'm not going to comment on that incident because there's some stuff going on with the coroner investigation and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to comment on that, but uh, apparently... Um, they reported the death as an accident. Um, again, I'm not going to comment on that and my thoughts on that because that's just private. That's just something to do with them. Um, so you can leave your own thoughts in the comments down below. But, you know, I'm not going to say anything on that matter. Uh, the ride is apparently not being reviewed very positively by guests. There are even TripAdvisor reviews advising people to stay away from the ride due to its uh, wetness. Now, I'm not sure how true that is because I loved that ride. I absolutely loved it. Now, I last did it about three, four years ago, uh, which could be a factor in why, um, you know, I, I still rate it very highly. I haven't done it recently yet in the last couple of years, so... Uh, I think if it is going to close 2020 or if it's going to close after the 2020 season I might as well try and get out there to Blackpool next year just to try and do Valhalla for one more time if it's going to go or it's going to close for a year 
after the 20th anniversary. Obviously, that's another big factor you've got to take into account. It's the 20th anniversary next year. They could they could close it the year after. It's the 20th anniversary. Um, now, also, they weren't too sure on this one, but the ride apparently wasn't intended to last for long, as it was when Jeffrey Thompson and Intamin originally designed it. Um, so that's an interesting fact to take into account, because I really don't know. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know why the... I obviously, you know, back in 2000, the thing, oh, we'll have a 20-year-old ride and stuff like that. But... Like, if you think about it, you're like, 20 years isn't that long, to be fair. Court Screw lasted for about 27 years. Uh, Alton Towers, before they decided to remove it due to its lower popularity than, than earlier years and uh, the roughness of the ride over the years as well. Uh, Valhalla isn't rough. It's still a very good ride. It's still a very solid dark ride and a solid attraction for Blackpool. It's one of the main draws to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in my opinion. And it'd be a shame to see this removed or just SBNO for a year because it means one of the big draws is closed for a year or closed altogether. I mean there's a possibility they could close it altogether. Um, so, um, but some people have suggested it's not a headline attraction anymore which is just very interesting. Um, now, what? Now, to be fair, I wanted to pick something out on one of the forums that I read. Um, now, he said that the pot might not be in a position to invest millions, but there's a but someone would like to see a small GCI like a Hide of the Ride or White Lightning, or a Gravity Craft coaster um, in its place, along with the Ice Blast sites. That's the SNS Shot Tower. Uh, it should be enough space, Viking themed. Now, of course, you've also got to think there's the space right next to Valhalla. Uh, that was the old space for Viking R. Uh, I think that was pronounced. It was the old water shoe attraction. Um, I think it's... I can't remember what's on that site now. It's like a temporary car park or just sort of just like a part of a car park or something. I'm not too sure exactly. Comment down below if you know for certain. But, you know, is that site up for debate as well? Uh, have they filled anything on that site yet? Is there a chance they could fill something on the old water shoe site? Of course, it used to be known as water shoe and then it became known as Viking R for a couple of seasons uh, before its closure sort of fitting with that Valhalla theme that, that was over there for a few years before that. So, again, do we know for certain? I mean, um, if you take away Ice Blast and you take away the Warshoot site as well as including the Valhalla site, that is a nice plot of land for a coaster. But, don't remove Valhalla. It's brilliant. Now, again, I'm going to say there are some, some skeptics to this. There are going to be some real skeptics to this to say this will not happen. Um, this will this will not happen. This will this won't be taking place, um, especially with it being the rise twentieth anniversary next year. I wouldn't say they close it for the twentieth anniversary. Maybe they'll close it after the twentieth anniversary. You look at um, I know this is a park in America, but take this uh, take Bush Gardens as an example. Williamsburg, uh, they closed Big Bad Wolf at the end of its twenty fifth anniversary season, um, and sort of they announced on that year that it would close. So for 25 years, for the 25th anniversary, it would close. So maybe they'll announce that Valhalla is going to go through some temporary refurbishment um, or just some refurbishment uh, over the 2021 season and then 2022 they're going to bring it back as a brand new improved experience. But if they remove Valhalla, that's just, um, that's ludicrous. I mean, I, I can see where people are coming from with saying it's not one of the main draws anymore because anymore, you've got Big One uh, that was already one of the main draws. Icon's become a, a big draw for Blackpool. Nickelodeon Lamb for the families. Um, you've got the classic Woodies. So there are other draws to the park. Um, obviously, I think there are a couple of rides that I think are going to go before Valhalla. Uh, Sky Force, Red Arrow Sky Force. I think it's either end of this year or end of next year uh, that the license ship runs out with the Red Force sort of brand IP kind of thing with the contracts and the copyrights so maybe Skyforce gets removed at the end of this year uh, well and the next year sorry um, so maybe it's the end of 2020 we'll see the end of Skyforce again another reason to go back to Blackpool to experience Skyforce possibly for the last time um, Ice Blast could be on the chopping block maybe I, I mean Ice Blast is a good drop tower but is it going to stay on par with the best of the UK especially with Chessington getting their new drop tower in 2021 is Ice Blast going to still be on par? Who knows? Uh, so could Ice Blast be on the chopping block? Infusion, that's still considered a rough ride amongst many. Some people consider it a good ride. Some consider it rough. Uh, very mixed opinions. Are they willing to 
um, go against the people that love it and sort of remove it. Uh, obviously, that was a relocated traumatizer from their old property sale port pleasure land that's of course reopened now uh, for a few years now. And it's got that. We, so we showed you that news report on the 99 year lease on the site. So, expecting new attractions, fingers crossed, on South Port pleasure land. Hopefully, uh, Adventure Island in South End gets saved if that cinema complex don't get past because uh, that's a good park and I haven't tried that yet so I want to try and get down to Adventure Island at some point um, but I'm going off top of that but overall my personal opinion is I don't want Valhalla to go now that that's this, that's just my thoughts I don't want Valhalla to go I don't want this to be true and in terms of believing it I'm kind of 50-50 because you've got to think this guy's apparently got numerous uh, a source that's been right on numerous times so you've got to think well are they going to be right again? You've got to think 50-50 on that source um, as an outsider myself. As, as an outsider to that source, you've got to think looking in, right, I'm 50-50 whether I believe the source or not. So I'm kind of 50-50 on the source. I'm kind of 50-50 on whether it's true or false. I'm going to stay right in the middle. I'm going to be a true professional journalist and stay right in the middle here. Now, in terms of... Now, this is going to be the scenario if Valhalla gets SBNO for a year. Now... It won't be next year. It won't be for the 20th anniversary. No way are they going to do that. They'll hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, try and get some of the effects that weren't working this year sometimes working again. And I hope, fingers crossed, uh, that they'll get all, most of the effects, if not all the effects, working for uh, the 20th anniversary to celebrate 20 years of the ride. Because uh, it is a brilliant dart ride. It's, it, when it works to perfection, it works beautifully. Um, I can see what people mean with the wetness of the ride, but that's what makes it more fun. That's what makes it amazing. Um, so I think if they do make it SPNO for a year, it won't be next year, it'll be the year after probably, uh, just to get that 20th anniversary out of the way and then get it ready for the next generation uh, with a brand new improved experience, get it refurbished over a year's period. Uh, and it would be 2021 in my opinion. Um, so there's, there's that option. If Valhalla is set to close permanently and they're going to demolish the actual building itself, then I think someone on the forum that said a small GCI, that would actually be a good fit because, of course, Blackpool are known for their wooden coasters um, and I feel like a GCI is a good modern take on the wooden coasters that Blackpool are used to. Obviously, you've got Grand National, Big Dipper, Nick Cone and Streak and Blue Flyer. Obviously, they've had past wooden coasters uh, the Velvet Coaster, the Scenic Railway, um, obviously Roller Coaster, that now known as Nickelodeon Street, that was a classic. Uh, didn't get to do it as Roller Coaster, I only get to do it as Nickelodeon Street, but you know what I mean. Uh, obviously Wild Mouse, technically. Uh, I'm so lucky I managed to get to do that. Sorry. So I managed to get, well, I was just excited that I managed to get to just do Wild Mouse. Um, so that's why I kind of feel proud just in case Valhalla does get demolished or SBNO and gets changed into a completely new experience. I'm kind of glad that I did Valhalla in its time. So, in its heyday, shall I say. Because um, to be fair, after the 2012 refurbishment, it did improve until it went a little bit downhill this year with some of the effects. So, well, from what I've heard. So, I'm, I'm proud that I managed to do Valhalla in its heyday. Um, but I think going back to the wooden coaster thing. Uh, I think with the classic ones, you need another one to sort of balance that out. And I think a small scale, well, not small scale as in, you know, that kind of thing. But something like a Hide of the Ride or something would be a pretty good fit. Especially if it's Viking themed. You look at, uh, I know the Mac family have been working very close with Blackpool with Icon and stuff like that. Um, you look at their park, Europa Park, and you look at Vodan and Timber Coaster. Obviously, they've got quite a lot of close connections. Obviously, with Blue Fire being a Mac, uh, an Icon being a Mac. Um, Voden Timber Coaster being a GCI, could Blackpool be taking the hint from the Mac family again and go for a GCI themselves? Maybe not on the biggest, like in terms of height, maybe not on the biggest scale as Voden Timber Coaster, but or just Voden. But I think there's a real possibility here they could do a good GCI. But that's my whole point. Valhalla should stay. There's other sites that need use before that. Obviously, the Wild Mouse slash Trauma Tower site. That needs to get used before anything else comes in. But I don't know how long that's going to be. Obviously, we heard the speculation of a flat ride earlier this year. Uh, like a top scan or something on that site. Is it going to happen? I mean, it's not too late to set up a flat ride. But, 
you're going to have to theme it really, really well, and you're going to have to do what you did with Skyforce in 2015 and sort of open it uh, around May time. Uh, so it isn't too late to sort of start constructing a new ride, but realistically, I think you're looking at a very weird looking time frame if you are going to do that. So I'm suggesting that nothing's really going to come for next year. I'm thinking it'll just be general park improvements and just upgrades and stuff like that. But I think the focus for 2021 going into 2022 is refurbishing Valhalla. Because uh, I think it does... I'm, I'm going to admit, from what I heard from the reviews and what I've seen, I think it does need some work. Uh, just to get it... Just to sort of freshen it up and get it back in its heyday. But I think that whole point about the maintenance cost is a very interesting point. Due to the fact that... Um, the maintenance cost could be quite, uh, uh, well it is very quite high and the fact that it needs £900,000, well rumoured to be nine hundred grand uh, worth of renovations doing to it is a lot of money, especially when you're operating the ride £1 million a year to run it uh, that's a lot of money to spend on just running one ride, it's a very technological experience uh, even for its day, it was born in the millennium, it was the same year I was born for God's sake so um, there's a real possibility here for them to sort of really refurbish it uh, after the 20th year is done. But I think if there, if there was anything that's going to happen to it overall, I think it's just going to happen after the 20th anniversary next year. So we can just enjoy the ride for the 20th anniversary. And like I said, Blackpool suddenly has become one of my draw visits for next year. Just for the fact I want to try and get on Valhalla, just in case anything happens to it. Uh, Skyforce, in case that's going next after after next year. Uh, Ice Blast, try and get last rides in on that if that's going in the next couple of years. Same with Infusion. I might not be a massive fan of Infusion, but I still want to try and get the credit uh, again. Uh, I got the credit before. It was an, it was okay, but a bit headbangy. Uh, gave me a bit of a headache, uh, but I'll do it anyway just for the fact it might go. Uh, it, it might go anytime. You could do a Wild Mouse and just demolish it without you know revealing anything. Um, but... It should be interesting to follow the developments over the closed season. Obviously, I'm sure uh, there's channels out there doing closed season footage. Obviously, we've got one of some closed footage with the big one track being removed. But again, a big thank you to Theme Park Tom for doing that footage for us then. Uh, so you can check out that video there. I think it's got nearly 400 views, which is unbelievable. So thank you very much. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this Theme Park News update. We've got plenty of news updates still to come. Uh, we've got plenty of news updates. I mean, loads. We've got Sark and Yemi, Skyline Attractions. Uh, we've got some big new stuff coming. So, thank you very much. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. And subscribe to the channel so you never miss a YouTube uh, video by clicking the notification bell as well. Don't forget, guys, this is the only video today because I am going uh, down to Hull to look, uh, well, to, uh, to see NXT UK Live. So, because this is a big video, I wanted to sort of let this be the only video today just for the fact of how big it is and how jam-packed it is. So, there's going to be plenty of news updates coming over tomorrow and the week as well. Uh, so, stay tuned for all of that. My name is Coach Child, Killer in the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.